Hey, this is the Digital Asset Investor, and I think uh, this may be one of the more important videos that I ever make because I want to illustrate a point, especially to the beginners that are thinking about investing in digital assets. There is, a, there is one extremely uh, important reason that digital assets are going to make a lot of people rich over the next few years. Many times over the course of the last uh, couple of years, I've had friends that wanted to invest in digital assets, and I went through the procedure, similar to what I'm fixing to tell you, of telling them what the easy way is to get into digital assets. And the truth is, there has been no really easy way. And it's still, as I sit here today, there's, some, there's more and more pathways being created. But I want to explain to you the most common pathway into digital assets and why this is what's going to make everyone rich. So anytime that a, a friend asks me how to invest, the first thing I start with is Coinbase. Coinbase is the most common entryway. It's the largest digital currency exchange, and it's the most common pathway into the system. But you are only able to buy uh, certain digital assets in Coinbase. Bitcoin is the normal entryway, and that's what most people do. To this day, it's what I do. So, in order, and, and this is, if I'm, to, you beginners out there, I want you to think about how complicated what I'm about to tell you is. First, you're going you're gonna to open a Coinbase account. You're going to link your, your bank account to Coinbase. You're going to uh, pull money from your bank account into Coinbase, and then you're going to wait about five days while they uh, get Bitcoin into your account, then you'll get an email that shows that you have X amount of Bitcoin in your account. Then you're going to go on, log in your Coinbase account, and then you're going to, um, you will want to send it to another exchange, which means you have to open another account with a different exchange. In, in this case, we want to buy XRP. So you're going to then send your Bitcoin across the internet to one of many exchanges. You could use this one, Binance, Bitrix, Kraken, Poloniex, um, and in this case, let's say Binance. Well, if you want to send Bitcoin to Bi you're going to send Bitcoin to Binance, and they're going to give you a deposit address for Bitcoin, which is this very long serial number. It's pretty complicated and hard to get your mind around for a, a beginner. So you're going to go into your Coinbase, and you're going to send that Bitcoin over to Binance. Then you're going to sell the Bitcoin and buy XRP with the Bitcoin. Well, this whole process, opening these two accounts, and then once it, the Bitcoin shows up, sending it and then buying it, this whole process, if you're able to get uh, an account with these systems, a lot of times these systems are so busy that you can't even open an account. But if, if they're not too busy and you can get in, then it takes between five days and two weeks to get all that done. There will be a day when you can just push a button and you've bought XRP. And the, those of us that get in this, get into these digital assets before that day comes, are going to make a lot of money. The other problem with the, 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 the cryptocurrency world has right now is probably the number one problem, and that is how to keep your digital currency safe. The only way to do it right now is one of about two or three ways. You can have a desktop wallet, but most people are keeping them in these online online exchanges. So let's say you own 2,000 XRP. You would have to split the XRP amongst several exchanges, open four or five accounts, just to have any kind of chance of not losing everything you've got in one swoop. Or you could do the safest thing, which is go and buy a Ledger wallet. And that is a hardware wallet where your digital currency is actually taken offline. But back to my overall point, and I want to say it again, there are going to be millionaires made from XRP, ma major wealthy people made from this, and a lot of other digital currencies because it, the entry is so difficult still here in 2018. With, I would say within the next six months to two years, you'll be able to just say, oh, I want some XRP and just push a button in one app and you've got it. And everything happens instantly, but it's not that way. And until it is that way, there is much, much money to come in. Money, the average people who, who can't figure all this out, when that money comes in, we're all going to be mega wealthy. This is not investment advice. It's just for entertainment. Thank you for listening.